We're creating winning habits right now. The way you are in the classroom, the way you are in the practice field, and then ultimately the way you guys are playing when it counts. We talk about being physical at the sideline if you're a runner, right? We're not going to step out of bounds. We're going to finish the run and make the defender pay. Good shit. Okay? The little things, man. The technique that your coaches are asking you to do, and you see the results that are happening. Okay? It's good shit. They should not get a yard. He got five fucking yards on a nine-man front. What game are we playing? Checkers? Chess? Putt-putt golf? We're playing fucking football. It's real fucking simple. And it's effort. It's effort. If he catches the ball right there, you, me, and everybody in the room is fucking fired. Fired. Facing this way, we'll carry Oka 15 and back. Here we go. I've been a strength and conditioning coach for 38 years. That's it. He's into it, man. Warm it up. Warm it up. Warm it up. I get to lead the team in warm ups. You hey, loose guys, work it now. Let's go. Let's go. Feet wide, side to side, five each way. And uh, after that, I hang out with the quarterbacks and I snap. <laughs> I would guess that I've taken about 130,000 practice snaps. <laughs> Sorry about that love, Pat, last time. It was a little hard there. It started in uh, New Orleans. And uh, after that, I was at Green Bay, so obviously people know of Brett Favre. He was a special guy to me. Tried to do the best we could to, to help him as an older player. My role is to help the players succeed with their goals. If that happens, then I've done my job. The guy you should probably spend the most time with is the strength coach. And it always helps if you like that guy. And I had Rock Gullickson. He's a great guy. He's a heck of a strength coach. And I love working with him. Get after it. Let's go. That's the way. That's it, Cody. Rock Gullickson has been the Rams' strength coach for eight seasons. And no coach is closer to his players than the Rock. Oh, yeah, man, good. Yeah, Love to see a smile. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Be back in there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But soon, some of those friendships will be tested. Good. Okay. Lock it down when you're ready, okay? On Saturday night, the Rams will play the Super Bowl champion Broncos. The next day, the roster will be cut from 90 to 75. This week, a visit from Rock just might mean the end of your training camp. Our employee that tells the player you need to go see the head coach happens to be Rock Goldson. And I think that's important because, you know, it should be personal. Big breath, look tight, look tight, go hard. Yep. No one's worked more with the players than our strength and conditioning coach. Okay. good? Good, man. Good, very good. When you grab them on that day and say, we've got to take this walk, you do feel it deep inside that these kids have dreamed about playing at this level for years since they were small kids, and all of a sudden, it, it may be over. Five defensive offsides, two defensive holds. Offensively, we had one false start. Special teams, we had three. That's not winning football. We got to put that fire out, or that's going to continue to happen. Special teams, 35, lock in the back, go. No, no, defense offside, go. This is tradition. We do this through the preseason. 
penalties were going to run. All right, off that 60, full start, go. <laughs> Special teams, 42 on a hold, go. Lord, well, plead with you, man, say stop. 91 defense, offside, go. One eighty on sports my conduct go. Fifty six false start go. Case Keenum is the Rams starting quarterback. Partly because he insists on taking his work home with him. Dump right F counter naked right F slide. Yeah, dump right F counter naked right F slide. Slide over down flat. Good job. Maverick's career. Jack right close, 94 pit. There's a test and a pass. Good progression. That a boy, 17. That away. Nice shot, Case. Nice, Case. The Rams selected number 16, Jared Goff, with the first pick in this year's draft. It doesn't look like he'll win the starting job, despite his progress. Here, 33 total plays, 8 for 12, 82 yards, and a touchdown. He needs reps, and I'm glad that we kept him in there. I think it's going to help him develop. You get more comfortable? Much more. Yeah. yeah. As the game went on, it was... Yeah. The more reps you get, the more comfortable you get. Starting to feel like uh, regular football, yeah. College. You guys are just bigger, stronger, and faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... I was happy I was able to stay in that long. I mean, that's more comfortable. I know that you know this stuff, but you're not an expert at it yet. Do you know what I mean? Not that anybody is an expert, but, for example, Case has been around it longer. The more reps you get, the wider your vision becomes. The slower the game is for you. It doesn't just happen. It has to happen through reps and experience. Scram right. X-Ram Depot Jolt, Y Hob. Y right. X-Ram Depot Jolt, Y Hob. Ready? What'd you call? I have no clue what that was. Hey! You gotta kill that! I didn't know what that one was. Okay. Do you know, you know what you called? I just called Y right instead of Scram right. And then I was. Yeah, no, I should have gotten in the hole. No, that was Ram with Jolt. I should have gotten in the hole. Okay? Tell me. Oh my God! Yes, fucking Ariel came out to see me today, bro. bro. We ain't never seen no dinosaurs show up to practice. You see mermaid though. Ariel, Ariel, <laughs> Miss Ariel. Look, look, look. That's my baby. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey! Don't be looking at no other man, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know no dinosaurs? Hold up. Absolutely. I feel so special, man. I even made you a beautiful sign. I appreciate it, Ariel. Got it. Got it. Thank you. You were. Bye, boo boo. Thank you for believing in me. I believe in you, too. You ain't never had a mermaid come out and see you, friend. Hey. Yeah. For Will Hayes, mermaids are real. The fantasy is Triceratops. I'm not sure how much I can convince you. You know what it convinced me, honestly? If somebody was to dig in my backyard and find some fish story, then I'd say, you know what? They got something here. They found, at various points, this Brachiosaurus. He's huge. They've been finding dinosaurs for hundreds of years. You look so just... Yeah, I can't... You're not buying it. No, this we is, found these this things. This sounds absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Well, I'm going to hopefully introduce you to some dinosaur science here and change your mind about dinosaurs today. You won't. So you're trying to tell me this is exactly what he'll look like and we ain't never seen him before. Exactly, his scale placement may be a little different, but they found real fossils of this stuff. All right. You don't seem convinced. No, not at all. All right, let's go on to the next one. We'll keep looking. We'll keep trying. No. Are you really convinced of this? 
Yeah, I can't believe in that and stuff, but... So this, this right is here, actually that's... shrunken down. We don't want to scare the little kids around here. Okay. But he typically stood about 42 feet tall. I got you. So then this guy actually has... Yes, you found this... You found the head this dead laying in the ground? They did. Oh, okay. Yeah. And 70 million years ago. 70 million years ago. He was just standing that old time. Yeah. He got covered up. You don't, you don't see how ridiculous that sounds? I see how it seems ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds very really ridiculous. What if I were to show you a real dinosaur egg? Then would you believe it? I think you're starting to convince me now. All right. I was perfect. joking. You're doing a better job of convincing me that this stuff ain't real. This is what you're doing. <laughs> this is a real egg that they found. So, it's using carbon data. No, it's a fossil. I can promise you that's a rock. No, look at it. See all the detail on the outside? So, here is real dinosaur dawn. This is real dinosaur dawn. Yes, it is. <laughs> and actually, you can see too, like if you look inside the crevices. It's not corn. That's not corn. That's real dinosaur dawn that's been fossilized. Hey, Jane. Look at it, Jane. There's dinosaur boo boo. The rain can't wash it away. That's been last 65 million years. Check this out, Jane. They found a dinosaur egg. That's an egg, Jane. I would be embarrassed to tell people this stuff. Do they like make you try to convince people? Just you. Everyone else kind of accepts it. There's no way this even logically makes sense. Kids reminded me yesterday. Like, Daddy, you know you've been gone a month. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. How old are your kids now? They're nine. They go, yeah. well, you left on the 24th of July. Yeah. 24th of July. Oh, yeah. Man, you're right. Last, last night, my kid was melting my heart. They got to come visit this weekend, and they went back home, and my five year old was like, Daddy, I want you to come home. And I'm like, I get that too. Buddy, you don't want me to come home right yet. Not yet. Actually, buddy, you don't want me to come home at all. You want to come out here. Yeah. You don't want me to go home until <laughs> February. Eric Cush, 1984. The man of a thousand tank tops is playing for his job. I see him! I see him! Go daddy! Go daddy! 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 Push, he's got a little dirt bag in him, which is good. I think he's, he's going to be good for us. He still has a little focus problem, brain fart once in a while. Clock! 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 Set! Clock! But I like his physical size. I love the fact that he can be a guard because he's big, he's strong, he's got a good anchor. Big is good, but small and scrappy gets the job done too, if it's peppered with some attitude. I'm really a savage out here, though. That's what I'm like. People don't understand that. Like I'm five now. I really play like I'm six three. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Give me a pin drop over there. Dee, what's up, man? Teddy, you're too short. Teddy, I throw it to the big receivers. You need more me's on D's. How do you like that? Listen, look, 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 look. You need more me on D's. That's what you need. Who hey, hate they've been this quiet in three years? It's four weeks into training camp. Intensity is building. Cuts are coming. Jobs are on the line. Wait, twenty! Wait, oh yeah, I hear pads! I hear pads! Hold the cow! Damn, we've been here on the ground, my stern. Now, for the go. Oh, shit. That's what type of day it's going to be. 
Don't hit number 30, please. Don't hit 30. <laughs> Said Benny, there's your crease. Nice job, Benny. <laughs> Fucking He's front up the back. First guy does fine. Second guy, no. Start the fucking drill over. Let's go. Let's start off by saying this. This is a practice script, okay? We can't get enough fucking reps as it is because of the way this whole thing's set up. Every fucking rep means something. Every single call, every single rep. You young guys aren't getting reps. Some of you guys aren't even getting a game. Practice is fucking important. And when you get into that shit there, you're not thinking about a rep. You're not thinking about practice. You're thinking about bullshit. I'm not standing for that. Take a deep breath. Get your shit together, and we're going to finish this practice. Now, let me see your poise. Let me see the respect for each other. We're going to finish this day. Let's go. In case you've got it. Let's go. Hey, let's make each other better. Hey, together on three. One, two, three. Together. Yeah, that was some shit. That was just weird. I was like, what's going on right now? <laughs> I had one in college like that, where I was like the first one to it. It was two guys, and I was like the first one to it. And I like pulling them apart. And I, and I looked at I looked the sideline, and like the whole defense is running out. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, sorry, buddy, you're on your own. Here we go, baby girl. Alright, let's go in. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. That one's your favorite, huh? Oh, look at that one. Cry, do you want to touch one? Are they doing a bite? Nope. <gasps> you did it, baby girl. How does it feel? It was cool. They feel really like jelly beans. They feel like jelly beans? Oh, there's a shark. Are you happy Daddy didn't work today? Yeah? Oh, you're going to stay here? Yeah, for the day with you. And then I have to go back to work? No, I'm not working today. She's like in heaven. Yeah. I'm glad we did this. Good way to get the mind off football for a little bit. I almost have to juice to get us there. <laughs> this is about to be so good right now. Alright, the bush. Bushes! <laughs> Seriously? No, we're going drive through. Just pull in and see how we're doing. Are we your first golf cart tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Yes. Since I've worked here, no. Are yeah. you ready for all this? Yeah. A lot. Okay. okay. Double double okay. fries. Double double no tomatoes fries. Double double grilled onions fries. Double double uh, fries animal style. We need a chocolate shake. Double double protein style onion animal style fries. We just missed seventy six dollars in and out. <laughs> You're spilling vanilla shake all over yourself right now. Sometimes. Get that. Get that. That's a nap. No, nope, my beard. That's a nap. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Let's go back and crush. How's everybody? Good. Jeff, is one round of cuts easier or more difficult than the other? Uh, anytime you release a player or a number of players, it's it's not easy, you know. Um, but that's our business, and you know we have hard decisions to make, and, and some of them, some of them will 
maybe get an opportunity for a practice squad. Some of them maybe get an opportunity on, with other clubs, and then some of them, you know, will come to the realization that their childhood goal is over, and you know, I need to go on with my life. Yeah. Kayvon Austin is entering his fourth NFL season. The pint-sized but pugnacious Dynamo is the Rams' number one receiver. They're trying to keep him. Give you guys an update on our receiver. An extension on him? Yes. They came back with a counter which would put him right behind. There's that group of AJ Green, Julio Jones, Des Bryant, Tamarius Thomas, and the guarantee that they've included with that blows everybody out of the water. And so he doesn't have the production to back up a number way up there. But I think we're close enough that things will progress. Austin has long proved that being undersized can be overcome with a big enough spirit. It's a lesson number 20. Five foot eight defensive back LaMarcus Joyner would do well to learn. This little kid here from Florida State, LaMarcus Joyner, he's a mean little He's one, uh, he's a mean he's just like that, and the thing about it is, look how long his arms are. He may be one of the best press cover guys I've ever coached. Now entering his third season, the second round pick is still a work in progress. Undone at times by his own passion. Another flag flies as Lamarcus Joyner got mixed up in the end zone with a Chiefs wide receiver. So both these guys are out of the game. Both of them? Both of them. Both of these players are being ejected for fighting. When you're battling for a spot and you get these opportunities, it's tough. Hopefully, Joyner learns from this. But you're losing opportunities and reps that can get you that starting corner spot. What the fuck are you doing, LaMarcus? I've told you this. I get it. I suffer and struggle the same things you do on walking away from confrontation. We have to learn from that. I can't let it hurt you. You can't let it hurt us. He's so amazing. He's amazing. He's highly wired. He's also busy, though. Well, it's 6 o'clock in the morning until midnight. Football and football doesn't go right. Unwilling to walk away from a confrontation with the Chiefs last week, today, Joyner is walking away from a drill. He's unhappy that he isn't taking reps with the starters. You need to step up and be a fucking leader in our room. And just because we're competing for the first time around here, first day it doesn't go your way. You're going to go out over there and not be around your fucking teammates. And we're asking you to be a fucking leader and step up. That's how you want to act? That's how you want to act? Huh? How to motivate an unhappy player is a question for the coaches. This week, the player's big question is, where's Rock? Whoa, Rocket. Whoa, Rocket. You ain't never seen no 70-year-old like this. <laughs> that man, beast. Check that chest out. Picks. Ooh. You got to flex one time for me. Show him the calves. Yeah, he'll beast right now.
I want to go through some special team situations here. Just things that come up in the game, things are going to come up potentially on Saturday. So, um, Foss? Where's Foss? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Harold, go freaking find Fossil, would you? Cinco, that's pictures of you guys, and you got to guess who your teammate is, right? Chimichanga is going to be a spelling contest with Mexican foods, all right? All right? All right, I bet you're up. 500 bucks. Oh, no, he didn't. Who is this current Ram, Vets? Coach Mack. Coach Mack. For 500 bucks? Is that Coach Mack? Oh, yeah, give it to him. Okay, Coach Mack. All right, Rush, you're up. Jimmy Chonga. Jimmy Chonga. Okay, the country of origin for this word is in El Paso. Definition of the word, something made out of corn or flour you eat. you got to spill tortilla in 10 seconds. Tortilla. Tortilla. All right. That was confidence. Bad choice. The word, the country of origin is Tijuana. Definition is a hot sizzling plate of Mexican goodness in a sentence. Okay, here's the word. Are you funny eating your fajita? Face the crowd and spell fajita. Okay, what? Okay, what? Country of origin is Boras. Definition of Mexican entree usually served in Italy. Okay, and that lasagna looks good. You got to spell lasagna in 10 seconds. L A S A N G N A. L A S A N G N A. No, no, no. Sit down. This is the last question. 500 bucks. The country of origin is Rio de Janeiro. Definition of Mexican hot pocket. Knock it off, Napoleon, and make yourself a dang. You got to spell quesadilla. Come on. Oh, he got it! Weeks ago, Paul McRoberts' stepbrother was murdered. Maybe training camp has helped him cope. But football can take you only so far. In the end, it's the heart that makes you whole. How does it work? Uh, you pick a topic, I'll write a poem about it, which we'll get to the of Any topic? You pick, you pick. Alright, um, love at first sight. This is taking me like. Uh, I will probably have to really... Oh, you know, I know. I, 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 I think I can do it, though, but it'll just take a little while. You can do it, but you're good at stuff like that. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Love at first sight. The first drop at the summit. Loss of words and vision. Say something. A low for starters. The rest will come in time. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you. You know what I'm doing with that. Scrapbook! Scrapbook! Yeah. You hate the scrapbook. Training camp is usually nothing but an uphill climb. But tonight... The Rams are going to give their number one receiver 42 million reasons to smile. Congratulations, thank you. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Go with the season. Kayvon Austin has received a contract extension. Yeah. This is so cool. I'm so happy for you. Earned it. You know. Appreciate it. You earned it. Appreciate it. Very. Yeah, and your team is going to be really happy for you. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Thanks, go play some ball, huh? Yeah. So I got to have the balls in your hands tonight. Real, All right. Okay. Thank you very good.
for his feet. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Take care of yourself. Just do your thing. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go, Case. What a night, huh? Yeah. Great night. Anywhere else? This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, Fisher has not made it abundantly clear, Case Keenum is going to be his starting quarterback. And for the line. He doesn't have to make an announcement, guys. It's Keenum until we're told otherwise. Look out. Bob Miller, everybody. You got a chip there. If you're going to throw the ball, you got a chip. Attack. Keenum had to duck for cover again. Maybe if Bob Miller wasn't so fast on the edge there, that's your problem. <laughs> yeah. Case Keenum is a quick study. He figures out Von Miller and the world champs in no time. They set up the screen. Here's some of the field. Case worked out with Lance and then also Kenny. They threw a bunch in the offseason. Short drop throws to Kenny Britt. Go, Kenny, tuck it away and go. Nice shot, Case. Keenum is on time and on target. Akeem Talib, the Broncos' hard-hitting cornerback, has seen enough. As Akeem Tlaib is going to take a personal foul. And Tlaib lowered his shoulder. Absolute cheap shot. Can I do it my quarterback? He's all right. I'm good. It looks like it didn't hurt him. Yeah, I'm good. You right, baby? Well, I'm great, bud. After struggling in the first two preseason games, the starting defense led by number 52, Alec Ogletree, fifth wheel, fifth wheel, is beginning to find its form. Fourth down, the Broncos going for it. And they it. And the Raiders snap it up at the line of scissors. A fourth down stop. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Good job. Take control. Take control. William Hayes on the defensive line. Wrap up. Aaron Donald just blew that running play up. The most disruptive interior lineman in the game, number 99. This Los Angeles Rams defense came to play today. Hey, get out and get set now. Let's get out and get set. Time to eat, fellas. Even the smallest guy on the field manages to get his fill. Tonight, LaMarcus Joyner is playing with both passion and control. LaMarcus Joyner dropped him. Joyner was ejected in the second quarter last week for fighting with Jerry Acklin and was fined by the league this week. Third and three on the 42-yard line. Come on, Marcus. Need to get across the 25. It's completely near the sticks. Let's see if they give him the spot. Oh, short. He doesn't make it the first down. Fourth down. That's four. And it isn't. It's fourth down. Well, Marcus Joyner was right there. No! That's a great play by the Marcus. That's straight. That's a big dude. He brought him down, grabbing him by the arm. This is a great opportunity for Jared Goff to come out and prove that he's grown from week one into week three. There we go. For rookie quarterback Jared Goff, trial by fire is the fastest way to learn. The throw is intercepted and drops. I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. Ah, uh, is he short? Is he alright? No, I gotta get that. I thought I was there. Dude, what are you doing? We're pulling dirt out in the race right now. Just got to put dirt. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, that might have been the worst slot I've ever seen. My knee brace got caught. Jerry 
Jared Huff is the son of a former big league catcher. And this is not the most graceful of slides. It's like when his knee brace hit the hit the uh, rasp just stuck. You know? Even though he was still short. Hey, let me borrow you. Gosh. Yeah, but I'm first I was gonna start I was gonna push you a little bit. Lean into me. Lean in hard. <laughs> Number 60, center Eric Cush, is crushing it. Unfortunately for Jared Goff, he can't block everyone. What happened? What's that? <laughs> don't need to be ragged on around like that. Ross night is over. But for other Rams, the night's just getting started. Shanelay Seau is on the edge of her seat because her brother Ian is on the edge of the Rams roster. And if Junior Seau's nephew doesn't learn to stay in position, he may be off it altogether. The Broncos kick it outside, left side, big hole, Ronnie Hillman. <laughs> For number eight, Paul McRoberts, and number nine, Austin Hill, every snap is crucial. Since it's unlikely both will make the team, any play could spell the difference between a roster spot or being cut tomorrow. of the season for Austin Hill. You start hearing that crowd scream, your energy go back up. No, Bob! All he needs is one more. If he gets one, yeah. If he gets one step, he's gone. Caught by Paul McRoberts at the 42. That was a good catch. That was a great catch. Put him on, baby. Put him on, baby. And they'll get the ball back with a chance, and Denver in front, 17 to 9. He's been going in this series, though, brother. Oh, it's not going away? They trail by eight. <laughs> they throw the snap left side to Merrick Hemingway, and it knocked down. Guys, fucking make a contested play to save our life. 11, 11, 11. Second and goal from the seven. Two receivers up top to his right. That's where the throw goes as he wins it incomplete. We shouldn't have had that. Oh, he should have got that. He should have. Third down. He should have scored it. Canyon drops for the seven. And he's hit. From his left side, down he goes. A huge Denver sack. Fuck. Go for it. We gotta go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. 17-9 the score, Broncos in front. Fourth down and goal, the Rams will go for it. Four receivers in formation along with Terrence McGee and Tavani is left in the shotgun. This time he has time. Drills it down the middle. It's incomplete. 
if you want to make this roster, you have to make those tough catches. It's not just the Rams. This team goes to everybody. Whoa! Where did you up? And the Broncos will win week three, 17 to 9. The Rams will fall for the first time in this preseason. Well, we'll see what happens come Tuesday. Cuts coming down to 75 this Tuesday before the week four preseason game on the road in Minneapolis. We come in here tonight and we get no touchdowns. I don't know if we converted a third down in the second half offensively. That defines the game. That's why you lost. That's what you see. That's what we're going to focus on, and we got to move forward. The challenge is, shit, we're playing four days, man. Four or five days. Here we go again. All right, so do me a favor. Let's get out of here as fast as we freaking can, okay? Let's get on that airplane and get home. We need some sleep, okay? Tomorrow's going to be here before you know it. we got some work to do tomorrow. Less than eight hours later, one coach is back to work. He invited me to come out to Canton. I'm kind of a shy person, so I kind of just waited in the background until I got a chance to talk to, to Brett, and he was nice enough to take a few pictures, and when people ask me about favorite players and so forth, he's right at the top of the list. Like in the street talk, as I drive by. Staying in the shadows makes sense in the presence of the Hall of Famer. But today, Rock Gullickson is front and center. Really? Wow. It's cut down day. The Rams will release 15 players, and it's the Rock's job to deliver the bad news. You must feel pretty safe on cut down day today, huh? You must feel pretty safe on cut down day today? <laughs> After signing that big contract? <laughs> I'm not quite so good today. It's going to be an easier year. A bunch of the rookies are sitting out there just looking at me like, scared. Nice. These days, cuts are high tech. If your name is in his inbox, you're out the door. Hey, come with me, Coach. Wants to see you. Okay. Hey, wait right out here, please. On the dirt. Right I'm right there. The player is notified, and then he immediately will come talk to me. Um, I have released every player since I've been a head coach in this league and talked to him in person. What's up, White? What's this? How you doing? All right, how you doing? Uh, doing good. Got a seat. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this is the start of the hard stuff. You know? Yep. I just want to thank you, you know, for everything, the way you held yourself and how hard you worked. and look like you have fun every day. Absolutely. You know? And where are you off to? I'm hoping back to Charlotte. Yeah. I know I came from Cincinnati, but... Right. They'll say, they'll say, say, any place but Hawaii. <laughs> so, <laughs> not a bad idea, though. Yeah, no. Hawaii, yeah, Hawaii, let someone try that on me once. <laughs> Like I said, that's why. But you can come from a while. <laughs> it should be personal. The impression you don't want to have is you try to get them out the door as fast as you can. Where are you off to? Uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm just trying to figure out what the next move is. I yeah. uh, could get in school here. Oh, yeah? Actually, not too far down the road. For sports psychology, I'm going to get a master's in yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, then maybe someday you can treat me. <laughs> Will you come with me? Go yeah. see coach. Yeah. Okay. We'll go right out here. Whether it's a first-year player or a fifth-year player, he's done everything he possibly can to try to make this football team. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Good. All right. All right. You have to show appreciation for that. Well, we're going to go ahead and make the move here. Yep. In your case, though, I think it's really good timing. There's a, um, there's never good time to get released, but, right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, but there's, a, there's a lot of people looking for interior linemen right now. You know, so don't get frustrated. Yeah. It just takes time. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to go quick now. So me. Good guys, too, huh? So me. Coach would 
like to see it. Okay. We're going to go out, we'll go out the uh, big door. No problem. I, I got to grab Mike here too, real quick. Hey, Mike, you come with me. Coach wants to see you. Okay. Take care. Appreciate you guys. It's a hard day. Good question. Just so yeah. You, know, yeah. you saw me for a couple weeks. Yeah. Every day I feel like I got better. Yeah. Like I maybe you know I could play a little bit. You, yeah. you think I have the ability to not? Yeah, I'm just saying that. With another team. This, is, this is how this is how I am. I've had guys come to here that I really had conversations with. I said, you know what, I need to go start thinking about doing something. Yeah. Else. Okay. I don't think that's the case with you. You got a chance. You got. A chance. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just give them another year. So, uh-huh. you know, yeah. Stay in shape. That's really just what I wanted yeah. to know. Yeah. 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 Okay. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Good, good. One to go. We're down to one. There we go. What are you always looking at me for? are all clear. You're all clear. You're all clear today. Yeah. This whole group, clear. Take a deep breath. Boy, you the reaper today. That's what I'm looking at. It's done. We're doing everything we can to be special. One of our models in this room is every day is an interview. You to me, me to you. Every day is an interview. Some people are out of the room today. We got a short turnaround. We have to get ready to play. And for many in this room, it is significant playing time. Today's a tough day, right? We lost some friends and truly family members that have been with us since April. That's the harsh reality of this business. We lost an innocent lives in the week. Uh, not a week. Bad as we feel, understand the business that we're in. The great thing is we have another week and another opportunity to get better. On the season finale of Hard Knocks. Do we know what's going on, Don Dunder? Who will catch on when final roster decisions are made? This fucking unit is so good that I have to make some wild-ass decisions. 53 players will pack for the regular season. Ready to get the roll, man. But 22 others will be cut from the team. I love your blonde hair, by the way. Oh, skin and blue. So now. You guys are the defensive line, right? And so the rest of the team follows your lead. This is how chemistry can help you. We're going to show you how to shatter your competition and burn them up. Imagine this is the quarterback. Your guys' job is to get them. You're not only going to smash your competition, you're going to burn them. She's got the blowtorch out. There we go. No. 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 That's your competition, right? Now we're going to help you leave your mark. Okay, do you hear it sizzling? Do you hear it sizzling? We should leave our mark as Rams. There we go. There we go. Okay, that, your word is elite now. Elite on three, elite on three, all right? Say elite on three, ready? Elite on three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Elite. Elite. Each Tuesday through. We're creating winning habits right now. The way you are in the classroom, the way you are on the practice field, and then ultimately the way you guys are playing when it counts. 
We talk about being physical at the sideline if you're a runner, right? We're not going to step out of bounds. We're going to finish the run and make the defender pay. Good shit. Okay? The little things, man, the technique that your coaches are asking you to do, and you see the results that are happening. Okay? It's good shit. They should not get a yard. He got five fucking yards on a nine-man front. What game are we playing? Checkers? Chess? Putt-putt golf? We're playing fucking football. It's real fucking simple. And it's effort. It's effort. If he catches the ball right there, you, me, and everybody in the room is fucking fired. Fired. Facing this way, we'll carry Oka 15 and back. Can we go? I've been a strength and conditioning coach for 38 years. That's it. He's into it, man. Warm it up. Warm it up. Warm it up. I get to lead the team in warm ups. Hey, look, guys, work it now. Let's go. Let's go. Feet wide, side to side, five each way. And uh, after that, I hang out with the quarterbacks and I snap. I would guess that I've taken about 130,000 practice snaps. Sorry about that love, Pat, last time. It was a little hard there. It started in uh, New Orleans. And uh, after that, I was at Green Bay, so obviously people know of Brett Favre. He was a special guy to me. Tried to do the best we could to, to help him as an older player. Good call. Green light, 22 My role is to help the players succeed with their goals. If that happens, then I've done my job. The guy you probably spend the most time with is the strength coach. And it always helps if you like that guy. And I had Rock Gullickson. He's a great guy. He's a heck of a strength coach. And I love working with him. Get after it. Let's go. That's the way. That's it, Cody. Rock Gullickson has been the Rams strength coach for eight seasons. And no coach is closer to his players than the Rock. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Love to see you smile. Yeah. It's awesome. And it feels we'll be back in there. Bring it. But soon some of those friendships will be tested. Good? Yes, sir. Okay. Walk her down when you're ready, okay? On Saturday night. The Rams will play the Super Bowl champion Broncos. The next day, the roster will be cut from 90 to 75. This week, a visit from Rock just might mean the end of your training camp. Our employee that tells the player you need to go see the head coach happens to be Rock Goldson. And I think that's important because, you know, it should be personal. Big breath, look tight, look tight, go hard. Yep. No one's worked more with the players than our strength and conditioning coach. Go good. Good man. Good, very good. When you grab them on that day and say, we've got to take this walk, you do feel it deep inside that these kids have dreamed about playing at this level for years since they were small kids, and all of a sudden, it, it may be over. Five defensive offsides, two defensive holds. Offensively, we have one false start. Special teams, we had three. That's not winning football. We got to put that fire out, or that's going to continue to happen. Special teams, 35, lock in the back, go. <laughs> 98, defense offside, go. This is tradition. We do this through the preseason. Penalties, we're going to run. All right, offense, 60, false start, go. 
Special teams, 42 on a hold, go! Lord, please let the man say stop. 91 defense offside, go! Twenty unsportsmanlike conduct. Go. Fifty-six false start. Go. Case Keenum is the Rams' starting quarterback, partly because he insists on taking his work home with him. Dump right F counter naked right F slide. Yeah, dump right F counter naked right F slide. Slide over down flat. Good job. Mavericks for rear. Gear. And Donald Rice, Dr. Rice, Gary. Marlon Switzer. Switzer. 12 miles. Jack Wright calls 94 pit. Jack Wright calls 94 pit. It's a test and a pass. Good progression. That'll boy 17. That'll wait. Nice shot, Case. Nice, Case. The Rams selected number 16, Jared Goff, with the first pick in this year's draft. It doesn't look like he'll win the starting job, despite his progress. Jared, 33 total plays, 8 for 12, 82 yards, and a touchdown. He needs reps, and I'm glad that we kept him in there. I think it's going to help him develop. Did you get more comfortable? Much more. Yeah. yeah. As the game went on, it was... Yeah. Uh, more reps you get, the more comfortable you get. It started to feel like uh, regular football, yeah. College. You guys are just bigger, stronger, and faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... I was happy I was able to stay in that long. I mean, much more comfortable. I know that you know this stuff, but you're not an expert at it yet. Do you know what I mean? Not that anybody is an expert, but, for example, Case has been around it longer. The more reps you get, the wider your vision becomes. The slower the game is for you. It doesn't just happen. It has to happen through reps and experience. Scram right. X-Ram Depot Jolt, Y Hob. Y right. X-Ram Depot Jolt, Y Hob. Ready? What'd you call? I have no clue what that was. Hey! You gotta kill that! I didn't know what that one was. Okay. Okay. Do you know you know what you called? I just called Y right, is that scram right? And then I was Yeah, no, I should have gotten it. No, I was Jan Ram with Jolt. I, no, I should have gotten it. Okay. Tell me. Oh my god. Yes! Fucking Ariel came out to see me today, bro, bro. We ain't never seen no dinosaur short of practice. You see Mermaid, though. Ariel! Ariel! <laughs> Miss Ariel! Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, don't be looking at no other man, Ariel. <laughs> don't you know no dinosaur? Hold up. Absolutely. I feel so special with you. I even made you a beautiful sign. I appreciate it, Ariel. You uh... will. Bye, boo boo. Thank you for believing in me. I believe in you too. You ain't never had a mermaid come out and see you, Fred. Hey, yeah. For Will Hayes, mermaids are real. The fantasy is Triceratops. I'm not sure how much I can convince you. You know what it convinced me, honestly? If somebody was to dig in my backyard and find some fish story, then I'd say, you know what? They got something here. They found, at various points, this Brachiosaurus. He's huge. They've been finding dinosaurs for hundreds of years. You look so just... Yeah, I can't... You're not buying it. No, we found these things. It sounds absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Well, I'm going to hopefully introduce you to some dinosaur science here and change your mind about dinosaurs today. You won't. So you're trying to tell me this is exactly what he looked like and we ain't never seen him before? Well, it may Exactly, his scale placement may be a little different, but they found real fossils of this stuff. All right. You don't seem convinced. No, not at all. All right, let's go on to the next one. We'll keep looking. We'll keep trying. No. Are you really convinced of this? No, I can't believe in that and stuff, but 
So That's this is actually about. shrunken down. We don't want to scare the little kids around here. Okay. But he typically stood about 42 feet tall. I got you. So then this guy actually has Yes, we found this. You found the head this dead laying in the ground? They did. Oh, okay. Yeah. And 70 million years ago. 70 million years ago. He was just standing the whole time. Yeah. He got covered up. You don't, you don't see how ridiculous that sounds? Like? I see how it seems ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds very really ridiculous. It. What if I were to show you a real dinosaur egg? Then would you believe it? I think you're starting to convince me now. All right, perfect. I was joking. Oh, come on. You're doing a better job of convincing me that this stuff ain't real. This is what you're doing. <laughs> this is a real egg that they found. So, so using carbon data. No, it's a fossil. I can promise you that's a rock. No, look at it. See all the detail on the outside? So here is real dinosaur done. This is real dinosaur done. Yes, it is. <laughs> and actually, you can see, too, like if you look inside the crevices. It's not corn. It's not corn. That's real dinosaur dung that's been fossilized. Hey, Jane. Look at that, Jane. That's dinosaur boo-boo. The rain can't wash it away. That's been that 65 million years. Check this out, Jane. They found a dinosaur egg. That's a what? That's an egg, Jane. I would be embarrassed to tell people this stuff. Do they, like, make you try to convince people? Just you. Everyone else kind of accepts it. There's no way this even logically makes sense. Kids reminded me yesterday. Like, Daddy, you know you didn't go on a month. I'm like, oh, I haven't. Yeah, you are. How old are your kids now? They're nine. They go. Yeah. You left on the 24th of July. Yeah. 24th of August. Oh, yeah. Man, you're right. Last, last night, my kid was melting my heart. They got to come visit this weekend, and they went back home. And my five-year-old was like, Daddy, I want you to come home. And I'm like, I get that too. But you don't want me to come home right yet. Not yet. Actually, buddy, you don't want me to come home at all. You want to come out here. Yeah. You don't want me to go home <laughs> till February. Eric Cush, the man of a thousand tank tops, is playing for his job. I see him! I see him! Go daddy! Go daddy! What's that? Woo! Look at that, what's the move? Cush, he's got a little dirt bag in him, which is good. I think he's, he's going to be good for us. He still has a little focus problem, a brain fart once in a while. Clock! 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 That! Fuck! But I like his physical size. I love the fact that he can be a guard because he's big, he's strong, he's got a good anchor. Big is good, but small and scrappy gets the job done too, if it's peppered with some attitude. I'm really a savage out here, though. That's what I'm like. People don't understand that. Like I'm five now. I really play like I'm six three. I agree. Good son, Tay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, pin drop over there. Deep, what's up, baby? Tay, you're too short. Tay, they got to throw it to the big receivers. You need more me's on D's. How do you like that? Listen, look, 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 look. You need more me on D's. That's what you need. Who hey, hey, they've been this client in three years. It's four weeks into training camp. Intensity is building. Cuts are coming. Jobs are on the line. That's what type of day it's going to be. I can tell you that. 
Don't hit number 30, please. Don't hit 30. <laughs> Said Benny, there's your crease. Nice job, Benny. He's front up the back. First guy does fine. Second guy, no. Start the fucking drill over. Let's go. Bring him up. Let's go. Let's start off by saying this. This is a practice script. Okay? We can't get enough fucking reps as it is because of the way this whole thing's set up. Every fucking rep means something. Every single call, every single rep. You young guys aren't getting reps. Some of you guys aren't even getting a game. Practice is fucking important. And when you get into that shit there, you're not thinking about a rep. You're not thinking about practice. You're thinking about bullshit. I'm not standing for that. Take a deep breath. Get your shit together. And we're going to finish this practice. Now let me see your poise. Let me see the respect for each other. We're going to finish this day. Let's go. Case you got Let's go. Let's make each other better. And together on three. One, two, three. Together. Yeah, that was some shit. That was just weird. I was like, what's going on right now? <laughs> I had one in college like that, where I was like the first one to it. It was two guys, and I was like the first one to it. And I like pull them apart. And I said, I looked at, I looked at the sideline, and like the whole defense is running out. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> Love my guy. I'm like, sorry, buddy, you're on your own. Here we go, baby girl. All right, let's go in. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. That was your favorite, huh? Do you want to touch one? Are they doing a bite? No. Nope. <gasps> you did it, baby girl. How does it feel? It's cool. They feel really, really like jelly beans. They feel like jelly beans? Right, right there. Oh, there's a shark. <laughs> Are you happy Daddy didn't work today? Yeah? Oh, you're going to stay here? Yeah, for the day with you. And then I have to go back to work. No, I'm not working for them. She's like, I have it. Yeah. I'm glad we did this. Good way to get the mind off football for a little bit. I almost have the juice to get us there. <laughs> this is about to be so good right now. Alright, the bushes. Seriously? <laughs> no, we're going to drive through them. Just pull in and see what we're doing. Are we your first golf cart tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Yes. Since I've worked here, no. Are you ready for all this? Yeah. A lot. Okay. okay. Double double okay. fries. Double double no tomatoes fries. Double double grilled onions fries. Double double uh, fries animal style. We need a chocolate shake. Double double protein style onion okay. animal style fries. <laughs> we just missed seventy-six dollars <laughs> in an oven. <laughs> You're spilling vanilla shake all over yourself right now. Oh, yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> get that, get that. That's a nap. No, it's on my beard. That's a nap. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Let's go back and crush. How's everybody? Good. Chef, is one round of cuts easier or more difficult than the other? Uh, anytime where you release a player or a number of players, it's it's not easy, you know. Um, but that's our business, and you know we have hard decisions to make, and, and some of them, some of them will maybe get an opportunity for a practice squad. Some of them maybe get.